So how does the zero two compare to the zero w in real life? Here we have the Pi 0W. As you can see, the CPU load is somewhere between 10% and, uh, well, with small peaks, about 25% uh, for uh, desktop only uh, running, uh, basically nothing running besides a Pi cockpit. Um, we can also check the temperature that looks like. So as you can see, the temperature is at around, let's say, 30 to 40 degrees Celsius centigrade. Uh, so about 35 degrees. Um, let's switch back to the CPU load view. And now we'll start uh, Pingos. Pingos is a Lemmings clone. Uh, anyone remembers Lemmings? And uh, now we'll check how the performance uh, of the Pi, as you see, it hits 100% CPU load immediately. Uh, Spy cockpit is showing us. Now let's uh, resize the window to the right uh, dimension, and also we'll print the FPS, the frames per second, here. As you can probably hear in the background, the sound of Pingos is not uh, smooth. And that's because the CPU is overloaded. It's at 100% of the zero. Let's uh, rescale that window. The CPU load stays at 100%. Um, the frame rate is about 5 frames per second, 6 frames per second. That's not too great. Let's see how it performs in the level. Entering the pyramid. Still at six frames per second. So let's see. So about uh, six frames per second. Now the Pi has been running a while. Let's check out the soft temperature. Yeah, so you, you, you see that it's going up, right? Because uh, the CPU is heating. And actually, if I touch it, it it's still it's it's warm to the touch, so it's not too hot. Uh, now the room I'm inside uh, at the moment. I ah, actually you've you've seen here this small area where I touched the the sock. It it went down a little before it's now starting up to go again because I took out heat energy from it. Um, the room which I'm in is uh, quite chilly at the moment, so uh, actually the sock temperature in a normally heated room would probably be higher. Right, uh, so 
as you can see, the game is barely playable on a zero. In fact, it performs surprisingly well, I'd say. You know, for those five frames per second, it does look rather smooth still. This might be, uh, this might look different on a game like Mario Super Kart or something, but uh, for Pingus, I'd say it's a rather decent performance. Of course, you can uh, use PyCockpit to also compare other applications like uh, web browser. Uh, well, maybe let's just do one quick browser check and see how the CPU load performs there. This was Pingus. And now it's loading the browser. Right, so here you go. There's the browser window. As you see, this is all rather... Well, you, you rather need a lot of patience in order to to be able to use the Pi Zero in a desktop style uh, kind of application. It's loading the Raspberry Pi homepage. Well, oh, here it is. And a CPU load is consistently at 100%. Right. Remember, this is just one core um, running uh, on the Raspberry Pi Zero of the first generation. So uh, we do need to understand that the performance is rather limited. And uh, as one Raspberry Pi engineer put it, um, you shouldn't probably you shouldn't use the Zero for web browsing. Um, of course, he's also referring to the 02, but I believe the 02 is a bit more suitable for web browsing than the 0 itself. Let's uh, take a look at the 02 next. Two uh, W uh, running uh, at about, uh, as you can see here in Pi stats, uh, this is, by the way, again, for anyone who missed it before, this is Pi Cockpit, or free Raspberry Pi web interface. It's free for up to five Pis and allows you to do, uh, to administrate, to control, and to monitor your Raspberry Pis remotely, free of charge for up to five Raspberry Pis. As you can see here for the Pi 02, the CPU load is uh, staying consistently at about one to maximum two percent. Uh, when it's idling, uh, whereas it was about 10% uh, for the zero. Mind you, Pi Cockpit uh, does need a little bit of CPU power in order to generate these graphs. So if, uh, like to send to money to, to get the data and send it to Pi Cockpit, if Pi Cockpit wasn't running, probably on the zero, we'd get lower um, idling value, maybe 5%, maybe 7%, who knows. On the 0 02, maybe instead of 1%, maybe something like 0.5%. Um, but yeah, that's it. So uh, again, we have a SOC temperature of about 38 uh, centigrade. We're going to return to that later. Right now, we're going to start Pingus again. Pingus is, as you remember, our Lemmings clone. per second and I'll resize the window again so that we have identical testing conditions. But off the bat you can see that it's already at 39 frames per second. If you remember, the zero gave us a much lower value, much lower frames per second. The music, by the way, is uh, not perfect, but uh, smoother than uh, for the zero of the first generation. Let's start another level. 
also another thing as you can see on our uh, CPU load is significantly less so we're not hitting 100% we're about, uh, about 35 to 40% CPU load let's try it and see how that will place now this does much does look much smoother if you look at those little penguins uh, running around um, I think um, after trying for a while I'm probably finally be able to lead the penguins to their right destination. Um, yeah, you can basically see that um, it's um, it's pretty smooth, right? So it's pretty playable and the CPU doesn't hit the percent so you can imagine that things like uh, Super Mario Kart or uh, other games might also be playable on it. Good for retro gaming. Let's uh, have a look at what the temperature developed at the same time. So as you can see uh, we started out at around 40 uh, degrees centigrade and now we're at about 50, 47 roughly. Right. So if I touch the, the sock, it's, uh, it's warm, um, it's starting to be a bit too warm, uh, by the way you see here when I touched it, there's a drop, um, but it's still okay, so it's not painful to touch it. I'm going to do another little demo now by opening the web browser, so let's uh, check that out. And you can of course also see the sock temperature falling when the CPU thinks it will not get any more work to do. But there it was mistaken because now we're going to hammer it with one of the most demanding applications known to computers, which is your humble web browser. You notice that uh, the browser itself uh, was loading much faster than under zero and also the actual rendering of the website is uh, faster it's it's actually tolerable fast uh, so you could very well imagine using this for uh, showing train times or basically just showing any kind of uh, digital signage stuff on, on top of it let's uh, have another look at the cpu load As you can see, uh, this was where we were playing around with Pingos. So there we were at around 40%. Now, as I said, the browser is a much more demanding application, but still we're at about um, below 80%. So um, keep in mind that this is a CPU load across all cores. Uh, so uh, if an application is not able to use all cores in parallel, then you might not see uh, the CPU load hit 100%. But uh, the operating system will be much smoother, everything will be much smoother, and browsers are very, very well um, designed pieces of software, so they are mostly using all cores when displaying the information to you. Right, so there we see it. Uh, the Zero 2 is a pretty tolerable device uh, using the browser. Uh, I will now show you another little feature of Pi Cockpit, which is um, power off button. So you can power off your Raspberry Pi using your web interface. 